We've got one of my favorite guests on the show, actor, and, and by the way, um, an amazing singer, Robert Davi. And, and we thought of him not only because he has played a mob guy and just evil drug guys, he himself is not a mob guy or an evil guy, but we thought he would, he would be perfect to talk about El Chapa right now and Sean Penn and the Rolling Stone and all this stuff. Um, good to see you, my friend. Great to see you. Uh, it's wonderful how every celebrity can at least capitalize on even the, the, the Powerball thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're all capitalists now, you know. which I, I really like. Um, El Chapa and, and yeah. the role that Sean Penn actually kind of helped authorities with his whereabouts, but the fact that Sean Penn did this and was doing the interview for Rolling Stone, Rolling Stone had these preconditions for the interview that uh, El Chapa wanted and got, weird, I don't, on so many levels, right? Well, First off, I have to, in disclosure, I, I, Leo Penn, his father, was a friend of mine. He directed me in a TV series called Gangster Chronicles in 1980. Now, his dad, Leo, right. was blacklisted in the 50s. Terrific guy, but he was blacklisted because he was considered a communist or the House on American Activities. There was that whole thing. Understood. So you have to, I have to, and, and I knew Sean and, 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 and Chris, uh, his brother Chris, when they were young. You're not answering my question. Yes, I am, I'm sorry. Okay. To answer your question, I think it was interesting. Sean has gone to... Iraq. He's met with Chavez. Right. Why not interview El Chapo? Who knows if it was for a movie? Who knows if he is part of some other operation? A lot of Hollywood types over the years have sometimes worked with the CIA sure. and the DEA. So you don't find anything intrinsically wrong with that. I, you know, it, it, look, it's not like he was condoning the thing. It's Interview with right. History by Oriana Falaci. She interviewed Pol Pot and Khomeini and, and, and the world dictators at a certain time. It was an interesting get. And don't forget that, in, that movie where they, the, the, that James Franco did, the, where they interviewed, uh, what's his name? Um, the North Korean. The North Korean. The interview. Interview. Yeah, the interview. So that could have inspired, you know, hey, you know, that'll be interesting for me, a good right. get interview. So, and, you know. But I, what do you think? I mean, we make a big deal when someone of this stature, I'm not talking about Sean Penn, I'm talking about El Tabo, he's behind bars, we want to extradite him. You've done so many mob flicks where, and drug lord flicks, where the, the bad guy finds a clever way to outsmart authorities again. Well, in 1990, I do License to Kill, the James Bond film, right. fashioned off of Pablo Escobar and Carlos Leder. Now, in that right. film, I Columbian make an escape, drug lord, Colombian right. drug lord. I make an escape. We bribe the DEA guy, the truck goes off the, 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 the Key West area into the water, and I have an underground, it's a great escape. I met Pablo Escobar in 1991 in Brazil. I was doing a film in the Horaima region of Brazil, the northern part of Brazil, called Amazon, about the garimpos, about the, the, um, the rainforest, the gold diggers, and the pollution. And uh, I'm in Manaus, and two gentlemen reach me because that film, License to Kill, in Europe was huge. Oh, and it's all over the everywhere. world. Yeah. Uh, and uh, so it was a big thing. So Kesco Bar's people, I don't want to trunk, I have to truncate the story, but I wind up meeting Pablo Escobar in a very interesting clandestine kind of uh, thing. So no wonder why you're for Sean Penn. No, think? it's not for for it, but I understand. I think you doth protest too much. <laughs> So you met with a drug lord. I met with Pablo What did Escobar. you guys do when you got together? He told me that I liked the film very much. He, says, <laughs> the, the, he goes, the, the line, loyalty is more important to me than money is what I am. He says, and, and let me give you an idea of my personality. He says, in my house in Medellin, I had built a horse track through the room, and we play. This would be good in the film. He was giving me advice in the film, wow. like, what to put in the film. He says, they play this card game called Lulu, and drink aguardente, and they hear the sound of a horse. It's the Paso Fino horse, which are very expensive. And they will stop, and they will look at the gate of the Paso Fino horse. He goes, that would be an interesting. And then he told me a story of how a discotheque he wanted to buy when he was younger wouldn't let him, uh, they, he didn't, they wouldn't let him buy it. Hmm. So he built the exact same thing across the street identical wow. and didn't charge anybody Incredible. but but these guys look at uh, you know it was a, it was an interesting they were a different group different group now you're my guy to play i'll chop of the movie you'd have to chop a foot off yourself yeah no it's chop, there's a, i've done i've done license to kill oh sure so i'll chop a, who knows who it'll be yeah it comes it comes to you naturally <laughs> right. thank you very very much robert davi great singer as well all the roar in, in, in eastern europe um and a friend of apparently drug lords as well who no knew? no no <laughs>